Traders in Lewis have won their fight to stop a production company filming on their high street at their busiest time. East Sussex County Council had agreed that a production crew could film from 3pm tomorrow, but traders argued they'd lose business and vowed to disrupt the filming. In an urgent meeting yesterday, the company agreed to film two hours later after peak shopping time. Carl Farrell, the location manager of the filming company, told the meeting there were also benefits for the town. In Lewis alone, we've booked nearly 70 hotel rooms for the time that we're here. Now, obviously, that that doesn't help your local news agent or your chemist, but it's still throwing money into the town. All of the people that are working on this are going to be staying here for two nights. They need to eat, they need to drink. So we will be spending money in, you know, pubs and restaurants, etc., etc. This is BBC Sussex. 11 minutes past seven. Now, here's a fascinating story from Lewis and how traders were very unhappy about some filming that was going to go on in the town, and is going to go on in the town, tomorrow. Uh, they've now won their fight to uh, stop the filming during the uh, the busiest part of the day, but East Sussex County Council uh, said uh, originally that the filming would start at uh, three o'clock on Saturday. Traders have said that they'd lose far too much business, um, and uh, now, now uh, it's going to be moved back. They actually did vow at one point to disrupt the film uh, of this this advert if uh, they didn't get their way. Well, yesterday there were urgent talks taking place between the film company, the council and the Chamber of Commerce, which represents the traders. East Sussex County Council have not consulted with the town properly. When there's a change to parking, normally they send a consultation out well in advance. They haven't this time. Do they know, does the traffic officer, the roads officer, know what's actually being filmed here on Saturday? They know... Um are you saying they've, they've allowed changes to be made in the town's parking, inconveniences for many people here, and they actually don't know what they're giving the Make parking spaces to? The production company that are doing it, they know um, the company that I'm associated with that do it, and they know that we are both extremely reputable in the fields in which we work. There has been, obviously, talk about the action and things that were involved, and we've talked through elements of the script. They have a precise of the storyline. It's not like we're going to have, you know, a marching band of Nazis going down the high street in Lewis or something offensive like that. Oh, yeah. It's certainly nothing controversial, and I can yeah. say that, you know, and very and that's, that's just We don't fault you at all, Carl. It's interesting, isn't it? Because normally filming in your town, you think, oh, this is, this is, this is lovely. Let's see who turns up. Uh, they're not happy there. But Claire Farrell is the location manager of the production company concerned. He told those at the meeting the benefits it would bring to Lewis. Where this has gone, fell down, is that I believe a parking warden said to someone that we'd close the road for BT for £400. That's total nonsense. In the local area, in Lewis alone, we've booked nearly 70 hotel rooms for the time that we're here. Now, obviously, that that doesn't help your local news agent or your chemist, but it's still throwing money into the town. All of the people that are working on this are going to be staying here for two nights. They need to eat, they need to drink. So we will be spending money in, you know, pubs and restaurants, etc., etc., now, Stephen Catlin's an independent town councillor for Lewis. Stephen, hello. Hi. Isn't this just a case of people getting terribly worked up over something which is actually quite good for Lewis? Uh, can I say, first of all, that, that what I'm saying is, is, is my point of view, that the town council hasn't given one, so uh, right. you, you can't... Speak, it speak a... as yourself, then. Well, fine. Um... I think it's the way it was handled to start with. The first anyone in the high street seemed to know about it was when uh, traffic workers were putting up the parking bay suspended signs on Monday morning. And no one knew they saw parking suspended along the stretch of the high street from the bottleneck to the war memorial and began to fear the worst. But would you really have gone as far as to disrupt the filming? Oh, I, I couldn't do anything like that, of course. But but there were rumours. Uh, no, people in Lewis don't like having things imposed upon them from high. Uh, we from won't be drove. Of, we yeah, won't be drove, will we? Right. Let's that, face that's it. a Sussex expression, and Lewis won't be pushed around. But everything has worked out fine. <laughs> Thank goodness. Uh, Carl from the uh, the Carl, the location manager, uh, was was very brave to put himself up for what could have been. I won't say a bloodbath, but I did, didn't I? Uh, what what could have been a, a very nasty battle in the Lewis Arms uh, last evening, and he turned up. What was interesting is that, that a load of the uh, local commentators who write on the Lewis Forum 
Well, out of all those who posted, I think half a dozen turned up. Right, OK. Uh, so he, he diffused the situation admirably. Well, all's well that ends well. The thing is now that we were told that there's going to be quite a big star in this advert. Mm. Do you know who it is? Did you get any... No one. No one is saying. I have to say, Carl... A-list, Carl was damnably we professional. A-list Hollywood. Yes, A-list Hollywood, who could it we were be? told. And uh, who, who couldn't do it Sunday morning, which is when everyone really felt was the ideal time, uh, because he's flying back to America. And... Uh, uh, <laughs> well, one, one's slightly frustrated by Carl's absolute professionalism. He would not tell. Right. Even What's thoughts of, of, of having to be tied to the stake on November the 5th did not draw this information from him. S- Sylvester Stallone, who knows? Tom Cruise, who, we'll, who s- we'll but see. But I tell we'll you see. what, if you stand on the street at f- after five o'clock when the shops have closed tomorrow or, 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 on loose, you will see, won't you? Absolutely. Thank, Stephen, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much indeed. There you are. So, so uh, in the end, drama uh, is uh, sort of diffused and the filming carries on at five o'clock. We wonder uh, which A-list celebrity it'll be. We'll we'll let you know when we find out. Joe Rickards has the headlines. Taxi drivers in Hastings are reporting.